Breast revision surgery, it's a big part of many plastic surgery practices. About 25% of Dr. Brad Bankston's practice is breast revision. And in these surgeries, many of the patients require additional tissue to hold up their breasts. Bankston often uses scaffolds to revise his breast procedures. Surgery scaffold, I think, is very good for deep support for like malposition repairs and those sorts of things. What I like about Galliflex is that being monofilament or without braids and, and weaves in it, and there's a little bit less material, but it's equally strong. The long-term benefit of Galliflex is it essentially takes the weight off the skin. For larger breasts um, or patients with larger breast implants or large breast reduction mastopexy patients, it really totally unloads the skin. Without the Galliflex, then there's basically a lack of support the lower breast stretches and bottoms out. Dr. Caroline Glicksman, who specializes in revision breast surgeries, says the scaffold breaks down and becomes the patient's own tissue in about nine months to a year. The clinical studies have shown us that at one year of follow-up with ultrasound and mammogram, there's no visibility of the product, that it has integrated well into the tissues and that it's not detected by the radiologist. The patients that really benefit are the women with a lot of extra skin and heavy breasts. The other thing we're doing that's really exciting is with Vectra, we can actually bring a cut right through the nipple plane and we can measure the percent of breast tissue above and below that plane. Classically, with breast reduction patients or mastopexy patients, the results are really dependent on the weight of the breast and the skin stretch over time. And these internal supports seem to give us much longer lasting um, outcomes. Carolyn Grimes, The Plastic Surgery Channel. Thank you.